everything's going to keeps keeps dimming for a start um so that's one issue um i had to be connected to wi-fi to be able to connect um as i've gone into my live to type out my chat the the option where you select facebook youtube Inst well instagram's on there now but um youtube facebook twitter um the options were there but it only appeared once so i tried to i, I, I tried to close the app but it still didn't come up again so good morning Anne. so they're just a few issues that i've had so far so i am using the test um app so something might go wrong uh it's very different <laughs> so there's no options at the bottom of the screen well there is options at the bottom of the screen but you have to then go into another option to uh enable like flipping the camera my, my screen's going to constantly go off uh morning craig good to see you so uh it's just going to be a quick broadcast today we're going to do some yorkshire pudding mixture i know Anne loves the yorkshire pudding mixture uh, i've done a stew which because it's bonfire night today um that's sort of like traditional food is like a good stew or uh, like burgers or hot dogs or something quick. Usually, well, you know, you look like amongst lots of people, but there's still a lot of firework displays cancelled across Leeds. Um, but there are private places that are doing the, their own ones, which is a bit daft, really. But anyway, um, I am I'm better beta taste beta tasting better tasting <laughs> the new Haps app. So my screen's constantly going off. So we're just going to do a quick experiment. I'm going to come out of the app. Hopefully it'll stay on. If it doesn't, I'll restart. So I can just go into my settings in my phone to stop the display going off. So give me just a couple of seconds. Okay, are we back? Are we back? I hope we were good. Did I freeze? Did I freeze on the screen? Because I came out of the app. Uh, just, just let me know in the chat if, if I did freeze or not, and we can send all this data back to um, to the team. Morning, Melanie. Good to see you. And now I, the option as well appears before you go live to share out to like your followers, uh, so to share a link. So it creates a link for your broadcast before you go live, which I think is quite clever. So you can share that link then to your Twitter. Even though you go out live on Twitter, you might not want to uh, uh, share the whole broadcast. You should share the link so you can send it to somebody, which I think is quite clever. I did freeze. OK, um, so I'm sure Peter and the team are watching this broadcast to see the issues. So as I said, the issues I had at the beginning was before I went live. Now, I did have low power mode on, so that's probably why my display went off. Um, so the noise you can hear is the washing machine in the background, so that's nothing to do with the sound here. Um, so when before you press the go live button, you type in what you know your normal broadcast, and um, it comes up with the options, doesn't it? Usually to broadcast out to Twitter, Instagram, you know, and you just disconnect. Like, but you can't just dis you can't just like take them off. You have to, when you take one off, it actually disconnects the whole thing. You've got to add it again, and also as well because I wasn't on Wi-Fi when I came live, there was um, so the option appeared. Trying to explain this as best I can. Um, when I went live, uh, it, it it said I didn't have enough followers to stream. It was locked, so maybe that's because it was uh, it's the first time before going live. So like the account's locked. It needs to recognise that you've got all your you know these like a threshold amount of followers before you can go live, which I think's a bit you know I don't know. So do you still have the old app? No, I don't have the old app. But if you um, a lot of people were saying they were worried about losing their... I've not seen any new coins appear. That's another thing I've noticed. So unless that appears later today, I don't know if it's going to appear on the app, but go on the website. Go on to the website because that's not changed yet. And um, But I had a problem on mobile yesterday on the app. On, on, not on the app, on, um, on the website, just on mobile, on Safari, where the live wasn't playing, but the replays were. Uh, so that's probably something to do with like their files and the cloud and like the launch of this. I don't know what's happened there, but it worked then later on for some reason. So I don't know whether that's because of my mobile data. I don't know, um, but it worked on the laptop. So best place to go if you're worried about anything changing or if it changes and, you, you know, um, just go on the website. I think that's the best thing. 
Or, or just wait. Because <laughs> there's going to be issues, isn't there, with any beta versions. So that's my opinion anyway. That's what I've realised so far. And it's a great thing about an app such as live streaming is you get my opinions. You get the feedback instantly. So let's make some Yorkshire puddings then. Now, uh, if you want to take notes, you can do. Um, you can send awards. Oh, I've got some awards, I think, on the screen. But that's different. Uh, oh, no, I've got, I've got no, no awards just yet. <laughs> But it just shows me like uh, the, you know, the hearts, the love hearts there on here. There's not many awards either on the app. There's like a thousand, a hundred. No, I think it's a thousand. I can't remember, actually. You'll have to, I'll send a screenshot anyway so you, so you can see. So let's make these then. Let's uh, make a start. I'll put you in a different place today because when I used to have you here, I could never get a good signal. So I'm just going to grab my bowl. Um, so, also welcome to anyone that's new watching. Try not to scratch my ear. So, I just to let you know I live in Leeds in Yorkshire in England. And I come live, and uh, there's an option to do like an intro as well on your profile, which is clever. So, I might do that later. Um, so, I come live, do we do cooking, travel, quizzes, mix of everything? Usually, it's cooking. So, I'm going to swing you around, okay, so you can see what I'm doing. So, here we go. Uh, Melanie says, yeah, uh, Anne says, I got an email from Peter to be a beta, but I think I'll leave it for others to do it. It's it's good, Anne. It's really good. Uh, it does work. It's working now. So there's my first broadcast. So, um, yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do. So Melanie says, this is what I'm afraid of with them joining Twitter. They are doing what they did with Periscope that wrecked the app. Mm, it's, yeah, I don't know what to say, Melanie, but I think you just have just to see what happens in the next couple of days. And, you know, I think it's that change, isn't it? It's when something changes too much where we're out of our comfort zone. But over time, it's just that learning something new again. But it's not really, it's not, I don't think there's too much to learn about it. It's just, it's everything's in different places. That's the problem. So it looks very clean. It's very clean and tidy. It's, it reminds me of TikTok. So I'm used to TikTok. So I'm, I'm kind of like, they've probably had to do that so they can um, go live through TikTok because if these things are too different, then there would be um, that clash, wouldn't there? So, and it, it reminds me of Instagram as well. So I think for those that are used to TikTok and Instagram, then it's not too bad. But for those that haven't used that before, it's something new to learn. But it's not that, it's not, there's not a lot of difference, I don't think. So anyway, let's switch you around. Um, yeah, it's just getting used to the... Uh, the uh, new, not new features, but they probably could add new features. That's the probably the best thing about having this app now is they can change and add new things and new features. So anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> so you probably all know how to do Yorkshire puddings. Let me know how the signal is. Okay. And we'll have some coffee as it looks very clear. Okay, Anne, no worries, no worries. So I'm the same, Melanie. I'm about 318. I can't remember if it came through yesterday or not. So, right, so what I've done is I've got some eggs here. One minute, guys. I've got some eggs here. I've put them in the fridge because they have, you're not really meant to use them past the date, but I put them in the fridge. Oh, so technically, if you've got something, they usually can last within an, an extra day. So that's why I was going on about uh, the eggs yesterday. So we're going to first of all start by adding some plain flour in here so i just fill it to a quarter of a bowl now these are going to make large yorkshire pudding i actually do have a cup of coffee here so you just want to you want to just cover it to about a quarter of the bowl okay and then we're going to add some salt and pepper so add some salt these are really really simple to make but the trick is the trick is once you've made the, the batter mixture all you're going to do is put a tea towel over it and depending on how hot it is in your kitchen some people like to put it in the fridge which you can do thank you so much Anne, for the uh, the award uh, it's come up on my screen as 20 so uh, that must be 20 cents i reckon so 200 oh no it's that's really weird it's come up Anne, as a hundred dollars <laughs> i don't think you've sent a hundred dollars have you Oh, recent. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's coming up as $100. I don't think you've sent $100, Anne. I'll, I'll have to return that back to you if it's $100. I don't think 
he'll have been charged for, yeah 10 sets that's weird it's coming up a hundred dollars <laughs> you won't have sent that if you did i would have returned it back to you um uh, right so salt and pepper flour we're going to add some eggs and i've just realized i've got some milk yeah so now we're going to add in four eggs now i've be, always been using three eggs so i'm going to use four eggs because i found that that's what made them really huge yorkshire puddings and i left them out um for about four hours so think think of it as like leaving your mixture out for an hour per egg so if you put three eggs in leave it out for three hours if you put five eggs in five hours and this is what's going to make them rise but then again i don't think it really makes any difference to be honest but four hours is usually enough okay that's three eggs and i'm gonna add one more because they need to be used i might actually make some eggs for breakfast so i'll show you so i've added four eggs in there okay I'm feeling large today. <laughs> What's the hundred dollars? I'll it well it says twenty, so it says twenty, but when I click on the uh, maybe that's Oh Chris has sent an award as well. Now it's coming for two hundred dollars. Chris L one, thank you so much for the one award. It doesn't appear I don't know if it appears on the actual broadcast because it's not showing on my broadcast. Um What's a hundred dollars? And Melanie two and says seventy four pounds. <laughs> yeah, it's about that. That's about right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add in some milk. Okay, so I'm just using semi skimmed milk. Out of ten guys, I mean I've got Wi Fi now, but how is the picture quality, and how's the sound? Out of ten, let me know. Uh, right, so I'm just going to get a whisk. The sound you can hear is the washing machine, I'm afraid, in the background. So what we do then, we've added the eggs and the flour. Uh, we're going to just start to now slowly add the milk. So I just add a little bit of milk first of all. And then we're just going to start to whisk. Picturing sounds good, says Chris. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. So remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new to watching. You might be watching this on a featured broadcast. I don't know. There is a featured option on the app. So anyway. If you've got any questions about the app so far, do let me know. I can try in my best to answer it for you from what I've seen. Okay. But because this is a beta version, my broadcast could just end at any point. Because <laughs> there's lots of, you know, until it's fully... It was always in beta mode, though, was the uh, website, wasn't it? So the app was probably still in beta mode as well from, you know, previously. But hopefully they'll, they'll, they should be able to then add new features. It's very similar to TikTok, though. It's very similar to TikTok. So, but there's no option on my account to add TikTok yet. And obviously you need to have a thousand followers for that. I'm fortunate to do that. And I did say yesterday, if you want, I would make a head, <coughs> excuse me, I would start now signing up onto TikTok and um, just following a thousand people. <laughs> It takes a couple of couple of days, like weeks, two or three weeks, but a couple of days, then weeks. <laughs> it took me about three weeks and then you get approved on TikTok. So that's the way to do it, guys. That's how I did it. And then when you do, or if you do some broadcasts on there, even short ones, they'll go out onto TikTok and people follow you that way. So it's easy to do. So just going to mix the batter mixture. Just like that. You don't want it too. You don't want it too thick, and you don't want it too thin. Because remember, if you're leaving it out, it's gonna thicken up anyway. But that's to allow more air to get into the mixture. Okay. So it looks really clean, says Chris. So you are just eyeing this mixture. I am, yes, I'm, yeah. <laughs> so always go off a quarter of your bowl, because your bowls are always the same size. Or if you want just small ones, so go off your bowl. So a quarter of the bowl, I don't know what that is in millilitres, and then add your um, milk to about halfway, just under halfway, and your eggs. That's how I do it anyway. So, But it's once you've got the batter, you're just going to put a tea towel over and leave it out, 
and it's that simple. Have you made them yet, Anne? Did you make them? You will get round to them at some point. I'm tempted to make some banana pancakes now. Should we do some banana pancakes? So, and then just whisk it every hour. That's it. Just a little bit. There we go. And I think we worked out it was 1.8% fat is the milk content. So if you're worried about the size, you know, the amount of fat in the milk, which would affect the batter, I think it's 1.8. So you might give it a go today. If you come live on it and do them, in fact, you'd have to do the mixture now, though, if you're going to have to do them later. I can stay on. Um, so what I'm going to do is put a tea towel over. And uh, yeah, we're going to make some banana pancakes, I think. I'm just going to keep the whisk in there. And that's... Oh. And there we have it, guys. That is the Yorkshire pudding mixture. So I'm just going to leave that out now for four hours. I'm just going to have a quick drink of quick drink of tea, not tea, of coffee. So has anyone got any questions about this app so far? Any questions? Should we do some... Uh... I think it has egg in. I can't remember how I made these. Yes, yeah, so you want a bowl. Let's bake some banana. Oh no, yeah, I've got some, I've got some banana. So we're going to start off with a banana, banana pancakes. So you want only want half a banana because the other half is going to be used for decoration. So just break it up. All right, and then we need some flour. I think it's a. I think it was two tablespoons of flour, I think. Or was it one tablespoon? I think it was two. I'm going to use plain... Have I got any self-raising? Yeah, I've got self-raising flour. Because if you use plain flour, you have to then add some baking powder. So I'm going to use self-raising flour. It's basically the same thing. So, um, Anne says... I think it will be for all, just as perhaps is now, but it'll be different. It'll be a different design. Uh, yeah, it is. It's it's just cleaned up. It's very clean, and um, but there are things that it's it's the same principle, but things are just in a different place. But as soon as you know where they are and you can find them, you'll be fine. What if I don't have enough followers and it doesn't let me broadcast? So uh, I think. It's not. I think you've got enough. You've got plenty of followers, Melanie. That's not a problem. Um, it's just when you launch the app for the first time. As I say, it's, for me, I just had an issue getting on because it's the first time we broadcast it and it's still in this test mode. So I think there was, that was just an issue. So it's not so much that it's not about the followers. You'll always go live. You, you'll be going live. You'll be fine. Um, so that's not a problem. I wouldn't. I thought so. Right, so I'm going to add a one tablespoon of flour to this. Did I add? I can't remember how I did, did these last time. I've not made them for ages. Can anyone remember? Yeah, I'm just going to get a fork. I think I was meant to mash. I was meant to mash the banana up first. I've added the flour too early. Doesn't matter though. Just mash this up. Let's add the egg. You need one egg. Don't mind if it's a bit. Might need another. That's right. You mix it all up together. If you are new, you won't have many followers, so I don't think that's an issue. No, it's not an issue. No, definitely not. <coughs> Excuse me. So just add your egg and your banana. Just going to mash this up a bit more. And your flour. I might need to add another flour, another tablespoon of flour to this. Just 
I think this was how we did it, wasn't it? If you want to add more banana in, you can do. It's just, I've not made these for a long time, so. Yeah, I'm gonna add some cinnamon, yep, yeah, get some cinnamon. Let's find the cinnamon. I'm gonna add some cinnamon in here. Look at the colour on that guys. I don't I think don't think I need to add any more. Did I add milk to this last time? I can't even remember if I added one or two tablespoons of flour. Can anyone remember? These are very healthy, uh, very healthy pancakes. Right, let me get the pan on, so I'll move you around. Hello Emmy, good to see you. Make sure you're following Emmy guys because she's, well, you all know Emmy from our Hap Saturday that we did um, a few months ago when, she, when Emmy was uh, our first broadcaster. So Emmy comes live and she plays piano and she's super talented. Please follow her. So we're just doing some uh, morning pancakes and I've just done some Yorkshire puddings as well and just testing out the new, the new app. What do you think to it Emmy? Do you like it? It's very clean. Very clean. I don't think I need to add any more flour to that. I'm certain it was only one tablespoon. <laughs> we'll soon find out, won't we? Like, let's get the pan on. I've got my uh, frying pan somewhere. Where have I put it? Right at the back. Go find your fine things right at the back of the cupboard. <laughs> take you over. Oh, thank you so much, um, Emmy, for the award. I'll check them all later, but I've just noticed on the actual um, app, it comes up as, I've currently got $500. <laughs> I wish. I've, I wish I had $500. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? But uh, So just double check that. So uh, thank you for the appreciate. Oh, it's just a like. Sorry, it's just a like, Emmy. Just a like. <laughs> right, let's put you down. It doesn't distinguish between the two. Okay, so can you all see okay? The sun's very bright. Let's put this on. You, what you can hear in the background is the washing machine, I'm afraid. You've never had Yorkshire puddings before. Uh, you have to go watch my broadcast back from when I, when I made them last time. So we used four eggs last time and they we put them in a cup in a cake tin and they rose up so much. So I've got a stew. I'll show you the stew. This is the stew. Just show you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> One moment. How do I flip this? So I've got to go into the three dots and then flip the camera. There we go. So this is the stew. Again, here we've got potatoes, sausage, carrots, onions, broccoli. I need to go and get some veg, um, some gravy today, some gravy stock, so I can it thicken up. If not, I can just make it and pour it over the Yorkshire pudding. So that's the uh, stew. Let's bring you back round again. Press the three dots, and oh, uh oh, and we're back. There we go. So we're just going to heat this up. This is a non-stick pan, so I don't need to add any oil. Getting nice and hot. You all see okay. Hi Texas Snow Bunny, good to see you. Kristen, lovely to see you. It's it's so it is it's a different experience, I'll put it that way. But it's a lot I think it's a lot clearer to see the comments because all the comments are actually on the screen. So I but if you're watching live, I know you've got to tap on the screen to see the comments, but as I say, it's it'll just take some getting used to, but Okay, so let's make some pancakes. I think I've done it the right way. I'm just going to wait for it to just get a little bit hotter. And then 
So Emmy says to Anne, how's the weather there? It, it was very cold here yesterday. It, well, this morning, it's only about two degrees. So not, not as cold as over there, because I know it's pretty cold across Europe, isn't it, I think? I was looking on the map yesterday. You know the new Apple Maps, and it shows you the weather on the map, and it, it was very cold. I think the there was a line going across the world of the cold weather from North America right across to Europe. And guess where the line was? Guess where the line from the heat was? It had gone all the way down to Georgia in the United States. So whilst Dina and Alexis is basking in this hot sunshine in the, in the heat over there, I think it was about 27 degrees in Miami, the rest of the world is freezing. <laughs> so it's growing cold, is it, Anne? Uh, is it Emmy? Sorry. Ugh. Got to see outside. I'll show you outside. Go on. I don't, I don't normally do this, but there we go. Flip the camera. There it is outside, look. Bit of cloud. Probably it's going to rain later. I don't know why I'm growing this tomato plant. <laughs> it's not going to it's not gonna get any tomatoes this year. I need to cut it. And I've got my parsley here, look. And more parsley. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Look. Well, the thing was, the seed was in my flannel when I went on holiday, and I wondered what it was. And I think it was a seed that had come from my breakfast. And it had fallen into my flannel, and it was growing. So I planted it, and then I, I realised it was an actual tomato plant. So, I'm not, Emmy. I'm not. Not at all. You are. Keep playing that piano, and uh, super talented. I just wish more people would be able to see you, and you can... Um, Get the recognition you deserve but i'm sure i'm sure that you you're on the right path let me flip this round are you still got your uh camper van you know i was staying in a caravan this uh, last couple of weeks i was there for about a week but i couldn't get a signal so i was going to come live and cook but i couldn't get a signal so i was desperate to show you so now says don't use the leaves for cooking they're poison yeah i know i know melanie i'm not gonna I'm thinking of cutting it because we're not going to get any more hot weather, I don't think. So, and it takes ages for tomato plants to grow, don't they? So I just wanted to see what it was. I was intrigued. So that's a little tip for you all, is if you've, if you've got any tomatoes and you've got seeds, dry them out and put them in a wet flannel. <laughs> Simple. Really great way. Okay, let's do the pancakes then. Hopefully this is the, uh, the right way. Are we ready? I'm going to make two big ones. One. Hopefully they'll turn out quite nice. So the thing with these pancakes is make sure your pan's not on too hot. <coughs> it will heat up quickly. Can you, can you all see that, everyone? It's such a great experience. And I, I love, I, I watch these, uh, I think it's called um, Thread the Globe on YouTube. And they've got a camper van and they go travelling. And they were in Turkey, and I was mentioning this yesterday. They, they found this woman on a beach picking up litter, protecting the turtles. And um, they built, they did a fundraiser for, for her, and they built this conservation centre for her on, just because they saw her from a van. It's amazing, isn't it, what, you know, the places it takes you. And all, all the people who followed her on, followed them on YouTube, they raised £27,000, which was... I think about a quarter of a million Turkish lira. Just, you know, it wasn't, you know, it's a pretty amazing achievement, you know. So who knows, you know, what a camper van can do. Uh, I think it's tre Thread, Tread the Globe, Tread the Globe on YouTube. I'll find out for you and let you know. Okay, let's have a look at these. Oh, oh, these are going to come up nicely. I'm going to give it another few minutes. I'll find out and I'll post it on here. I'll put the, I'll put their link on here actually. So these need to rise up. Remember as well. 
not made pancakes for ages. Who's hungry for pancakes? <laughs> so yeah, I think I think with the app, I think it's going to be a good. It's definitely a good um, step forward. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just going to be intrigued to see how many new people join. I'm sure they will join. Did I add baking powder into this last time? I mean, they don't need to rise up that much. But... Oh, these looking good. I'm going to turn this over. Are you ready? Watch this, guys. Ah. Oh. I don't want them too brown. Uh, no, it's stuck. They're definitely the right pancakes. <laughs> Try and save that one. I love pancakes. I've not made these for ages, I mean. And then I'm going to use the banana to, as decoration. I can always flip these back over if I, if I want them a little bit browner. A little bit of honey on the top. Let me know what you like on your pancakes. It's actually bonfire night today. A lot of people around the world don't know what bonfire night is. You've probably seen it. It's So Guy Fawkes was a Yorkshireman and he lived in York. And there's actually a pub in York called the Guy Fox pub or inn where he was born. And he planned to blow up Parliament in London. So you see the Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament, Alexandra Palace. Now, it's not something we actually celebrate that, <laughs> believe it or not, because at the time, you know, there was a lot of, um, I don't really know much about it at all, but you know. It was obviously a lot of political things happening at the time. So, yeah, he uh, we celebrate that. And we have bonfires and fireworks. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people around the world don't know about bonfire now. Is it just taking a little bit longer to cook? Let me just sort this pancake out. Mm, I suppose it tastes nice. You are Melanie, yes, I know, I know. Melanie supports the uh, a lot of envir uh, environmental charities and like, was it the WWF, Melanie? That you support. You supported the few other ones as well. Uh, Anne says some blue, some oh yeah, blueberries or raspberries would be nice. I've got some strawberries. I don't have any blueberries though. Um, Texas Snowbunny says I like to mash bananas in my actual batter and then. And then add some blueberries. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. I think these are done. They're not as brown as what I normally have them, but I think they're done. So let's put them on a plate. Some might say that's not done. Some people will say a bit, a bit longer. I don't know if I think I've done them right. I just haven't made them for ages, so. Anyway, let's bring you back over. Right, this was from IKEA. This pan, Swedish pan. I think Swedish, Swedish quality. Swedish things are always the best. I think. I love their cider. I love their um, tools. I've got my uh, lot of stuff from IKEA. Furniture. Okay, so here's our pancakes, everyone. I'm going to just cut up some banana. Can you all see that, everyone? There we go. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to add a bit of syrup. Mmm, so good. Have I got any syrup? I've got some honey. There you go, just for Melanie, look. Are you ready, Melanie? There you go, a bit of honey on there. Put the honey back. 
All right, so let's have a little taste of these. And then I will let you get on with your day. Just have a little taste of these. Cheers, everybody. Oh my gosh, they're good. Mmm. Perfectly cooked. Oh my gosh, these are really good. So you see how simple they were to make. So, so Yorkshire pudding is... These are not Yorkshire puddings, these are pancakes. But Yorkshire pudding is a batter that we've made and we put it into really hot oil in the oven. So once the oil is sizzling in a in either muffin tins or cup or a huge um, cupcake, you know, cake tin, and you add the mixture to about probably about like a quarter of the um, cake tin, or fill them up halfway. I say halfway, actually halfway, and then they'll rise. And you can actually have fill them up with meat stews. Uh, you could even have them dry when they've cooled down with jam and ice cream if you want to. So it's just a savoury, savoury Dutch pancake. So if you know what a Dutch pancake is. Thanks, Sam. These are so good. All right, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So thank you for coming in. I shall see you all. Um, I shall see you all next time. No, it's not a pudding, not a sweet pudding. But if you want to make it sweet, you can add ice cream to them. So they're just savoury, uh, but you can fold the edges down and roll them up so you can have like a Yorkshire pudding wrap, wraps. So really good. So I shall see you soon, guys. Thank you for coming in. And I shall see you uh, possibly later today or tomorrow. So enjoy the app, guys. See you soon. Take care. Thank you all for the awards. Don't forget Melanie's on at 10 o'clock tonight. Um, or if you're coming on later on today, Melanie, let me know. So, so make sure you're following Melanie. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye. Might come on later. We'll show some uh, fireworks. So catch you soon. Bye.